guys, Brandon Spilly here from thirstgym.com. Today we're talking about something called the Jefferson Bulgarian Split Squat. All right, for this exercise, you're gonna want two kettlebells. You could also use two dumbbells. Kettlebells just feel a little bit more natural. Uh, and a split squat pad, a bench, something to elevate your rear foot on for your Bulgarian Split Squat. Now, the way we're gonna hold our hands initially are gonna drive a certain adaptation. So more cases than not on this exercise, you're gonna have your left palm up and your right hand down, and I'll explain why here in a second. So from here, I'm gonna take right hand down, left hand supinated or opened up. And then again, doesn't really matter what leg I have forward because my hands are gonna stay the same the entire time. But from here, now I'm just gonna go down into my Bulgarian split squat and then back up. Staying nice and strong, chest is nice and tall, front leg is nice and flat, pressing hard through my heel and whole foot ensuring that my knee's not coming too far over my front foot. I want to be able to actually sit back, load that glute up, and then I would switch sides and same thing. Okay, now the reason we prefer a left hand up and right hand down position is that that is now going to turn my upper body this way. It's going to turn it towards the left. You're going to turn towards the supinated hand. The reason you may want to do that is because of the way our body is designed on the inside, we're a little more biased towards a right turn. So by doing this, we can turn ourselves towards the left or maybe even more neutral for super far right. And then that can let us load the appropriate tissues, how we have our legs set, all that great stuff in a particular way. Now, it doesn't mean that you can't have your right hand up and your left hand down. You certainly can. However, more cases than not, from a programming perspective, if you've got that turn over doing this exercise, we're really trying to create that turn back to the left with this particular exercise, and that's going to orient the upper body the way that we want it to go. So just make sure you understand that how you orient your hands is going to dictate the exercise. Otherwise, if you don't care, just hold both dumbbells or kettlebells by your side and just load things as you normally would. For this particular exercise, it works great in those standard hypertrophy ranges, two to four sets. I have usually six to 12 reps per side, really loading up those glutes, hamstrings, and quads. It is a very taxing exercise once you actually load this bad boy up. So feel okay to take anywhere from 30 to 45 seconds between each leg, catch your breath and go again. So you can give a high level of effort to each leg as needed. If you've got any questions, just let me know in the comment section below. Thanks. Have a great day.